Welcome back, everybody. It is No Shave November at the station, and fundraising is still under it's still underway for a very good cause. Many of us who participate at KSAT, we have our own reasons why we're growing our beards. Max Maxi highlights some of those personal stories. Some of us here at KSAT put down the razors and we are growing out our facial hair for cancer awareness. We're joining forces with No Shave November and Movember to raise funds to support cancer prevention, raise funds to support research and education. And a lot of our teammates here have their own personal reasons why they're joining in. It started for me with my uncle. He's in Iowa, I'm in Texas. There's nothing I could do really to help him in any other way than to show my support. And so that's where No Shave November came in for me is to grow a beard. Uh, raise awareness about men's health because he didn't get checked when he was supposed to get checked uh, for colon cancer and by the time they found it it was too late. I have a, my mom who's a breast cancer survivor, my wife who's a thyroid cancer survivor as well so anything that we can do in, to raise awareness and to help raise money for additional research to try and combat any form of cancer uh, I feel that's the least that we could do. We all are burly men and strong and you know we want to think that we can survive just about anything and I don't get sick I don't feel bad but we need to get checked we need to have you know, times in our lives when we need to go to the doctor and we need to let him inform us about what we need to be aware of a lot of people are seeing us grow this facial hair and they're asking why and that's exactly what we want we want people to ask why are you doing this because it raises awareness about cancer and that's what we're after we want people to ask questions we want people to donate money if they so choose, but to help the cause because cancer is becoming such a huge issue in our country. I think by having a beard on air, something that I don't usually have, it'll bring awareness to, to me and through that I can tell people about the dangers of cancer, the symptoms, and hopefully let someone out there know what to look for and possibly save a life. My girlfriend is a hospice nurse and um, you know, she specializes in dealing with people, um, obviously at the, at the, in their waning days and weeks of life. And it is shocking to me the number of people that are affected by and suffer and eventually die from cancer of, of a wide range of ages. It's not just middle-aged folks or, or people in the later stages of their lives. It's, it's people in their 20s and 30s. It touches everyone. So I think for all those people fighting very private battles, um, I'm doing No Shave November for that, that nameless, faceless group of folks who, who just pass away and, um, and we don't hear a whole lot about. I would definitely keep it. I enjoy it, I enjoy it. Uh, you know, the maintenance is, it's a little bit of work, but I definitely keep it. I think I could get used to it, but I think I'm also gonna shave it just as quickly as possible. I think it might be a little grayer this year than it's been in years past. No, my wife hates it. <laughs> Come on, December 1st. And the two organizations that we've partnered with are No Shave November and Movember. And yes, there is a difference. No Shave November is all beard. It is web-based. It is a nonprofit organization devoted to growing cancer awareness and raising funds. These funds will go to support cancer prevention, research and education for all types of cancer, not just for men. Movember is mustaches only. It focuses on the biggest health issues faced by men, prostate cancer, testicular cancer, mental health, and suicide prevention. So if you'd like to help our team out here at KSAT, help us raise money and help these amazing causes, you can do so right now. Just head to KSAT.com and donate right now.